So today I want to make a quick video regarding something that the Department of Justice did. Before we get into that, when we think about hacking, typically think this, right? Especially if we type it into Google, this is what comes up. Hooded figure, dark room behind a computer, right? Hacking into things, doing bad stuff. Well, these guys have the same skill set and do the same things as these guys. The only difference is their intent. But if we take the intent away from it, you're left with two groups of individuals who have similar skill sets, similar training, similar knowledge. And how did they learn how to do it? Traditionally, that was hacking on your own computer, your own you know, hardware in your house, things like that. But when that wasn't enough, both of these groups reached out to things that maybe they shouldn't have. So that can be an online service, it could be hardware that wasn't theirs, it could be commercial software that maybe they weren't supposed to reverse engineer. But those types of training and real world things are very important in gaining the skill set needed to do this hacking stuff. So what's interesting is that the Department of Justice today came out and said that they will not prosecute good faith security researchers under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. And what that means is this is a this is a great article through SE Magazine. And they go into more details about it. And there's also an article that the Department of Justice released on their own site. And it details what they mean by good faith security research. Maybe security researchers or people who are curious, maybe they find some sort of technology or software that maybe they're not really supposed to be messing around with but they're doing it with the intent of learning and gaining skills and knowledge. They're not doing it with the intent of hurting anybody or committing fraud or nefarious acts. They're doing it to learn and perform so-called good faith research. Now, if we go and look at the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, and it's not very long, but it's a pretty much a catch-all for any computer crime, any computer crime or cyber fraud can be thrown under this and prosecuted. And that includes unauthorized access to systems that you are not supposed to be touching. Maybe looking at these things online that maybe you shouldn't be looking at, it would technically fall under this. Computer fraud and abuse, it could fall under this. Now would it? Eh, it's unlikely unless you did something really bad. And even then the, the prosecution rate under this, like it, it needs to be pretty bad for it to actually get prosecuted. However, the risk is still there. So, here is the additions that the Department of Justice has made for the good faith portion. And what it dictates is that good faith security research can be taken into account if a prosecution were to occur based on the intent of what someone was trying to do. So if you were just looking at something and maybe you found a security hole and you reported it to the company because you were just learning and researching, that seems to be okay and that is in good faith. However, this is not a get out of jail free card. They specifically mention things like here, towards the end of the paragraph. It says security research not conducted in good faith, for example, for the purpose of discovering security holes in devices, machines, etc in order to extort the owners of such devices, machines, or services, might be called research, but it is not in good faith. But they make the very clear distinction that this is all about intent. If your intent is research and learning and maybe helping the company by finding, hey, you have a security hole here, things like that, that could be falling under good faith. But if you are finding those things and you take them further to either perform nefarious acts on your own, or sell that information to other people so that they can perform those acts, that is not in good faith, and that still falls under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. So, you know, I'm not a lawyer by any means, but the fact that the Department of Justice has acknowledged this is great to see, because again, these guys and these guys both got to where they are doing very similar things, and those similar things often included good faith research. So, seeing that, 
and seeing that you know progress is being made and helping cybersecurity professionals come up and learn and train and realize that well sometimes they reach out and touch things that maybe they weren't supposed to but in good faith you know those things can be okay sometimes so if you have any questions hit us up ringzerolabs.com